If you want to join the Mochurf server, well here's your chance. Down in the description below, I have left the link to a Google form where you can fill it out for a chance to be invited to Season 2. Make sure you pay attention because at the end there is a mini quiz and you must get 70% or more to pass. I will only pick three people, so the people who fill it out first have a higher chance of getting accepted. All forms will be accepted until March 12, 2018, and after that, no more will be accepted. Hello everyone, Alex Rules 237 here, back for another Minecraft video on the Mocharv server. February is unfortunately the last month for Season 1, but it is also the first month of Season 2. Um, we are not going to do the extension of one month. Uh, I made that final decision with most the majority of the Mocharv server members. Uh, so we are restarting this month. So, no, this is probably not my last Mocharv video. For season one but everything that people have planned to build everything that people have built is pretty much complete and all done there's not really going to be any major projects like rules tower or um another base or anything and no new members until season two so i'm going to give everyone a fairly detailed tour as long as a lot of history of the entire year itself um, Holden already did this, but since he joined uh, halfway through, he doesn't. He didn't know everything, and he didn't go through history. Uh, so we are going to do that, and we are starting right here where it all began in Spawn Town, right where I'm standing, um, is where we first set up, and where we first made the Mocharv series. I stood at. Probably, um, I wrote down the coordinates, like, exactly, but right here, around here, right near in front of my shop here. Um, the spawn point was right here in one of these two blocks. We had a giant dirt pillar going up, um, and one of the, fir the few first few shops built was my butchery shop, which, uh, was at first just a wooden hut episode uh, 2 I actually and built it and there's a lot of buildings here with a lot of history that were here first like this one uh, you got Jordan's boat shop and I'm not going through every single shop there's really old shops that need to get fixed up before the end like this one got new shops like my fireworks shop and uh, we got this path here uh, we have the fountain which we still have to build uh, we have one of the first bases on the server uh, which was actually not there at the time. It was actually over there, but when I relocated it here for Kevin. Um, and there was a lot of movement from there on. Um, it was the first month where people finally picked a good base. Uh, it was Alex, uh, DJ Alex, our Alex, who built his first base here, uh, then moved out to this house right here which is currently the uh, IB building um, and then when Luke came on I believe this was his base then he moved out um, Kevin's first base was over here where this thing is did not look nearly as good uh, but Kevin built dug this um, I remember pranking him once when he was building it uh, and he got kind of triggered, um, and then he moved out to his new this base here. Uh, then it became Jordan's for a period of time. They moved over to his mountain base. Then it was Luke's. Then he moved to his own base, and now is just an empty chasm, awaiting to um, just be destroyed. We're not going to destroy. It, don't worry. Uh, the torches were for me, by the way. Um, then you got uh, the bases, which I can't go to some of them now, because like Holden's and Kevin's, because they're far away. Um, Kevin does not live in that base anymore. Uh, I did build that for him. Uh, he moved out for some for whatever reason. I really don't care. Uh, we're gonna go to my base um, after we go over here because everyone knows my base. Um, 
there is there was a long history with it and at, there was a time where I wasn't actually going to make it as far as I did but that's not what we're focused on right here now over here is the DJ Alex R slash Jordan residence uh, this is Alex's mansion um, he does he did not play uh, he well he played for the first half of Mosharv and then he found it not interesting uh, I don't want to say that he's still a member and he still plays and he's gonna play season two again don't worry uh, but the problem with him is that he really didn't have a lot of time to play and it, it, ju it just ended up being a mess he did do his secret Santa he did come on and do stuff uh, he plays overwatch a lot more which is understandable uh, Minecraft isn't the only game that we do play um, but he also shared property with Jordan who um, Alex and Jordan created an alliance where they had this is there they have their own separate bases but they shared each other's items uh, unfortunately Jordan was not able to play a lot of season one because of computer errors but he does have pets named Rocky don't worry why don't worry about it uh, then he did have his own little storage and he did um, he did expand a little bit to what he wanted to but remember there was still problems uh, recently he came and he asked me to help him with this door and I told him it, I would but there really is no not a lot of time left and it's just not worth it um, but this is this residence uh, we're gonna go to my base next and then we'll go to Holden's base which Holden is AFK right now Sorry for holding down tab. I have a habit of doing that. Uh, we have, while we're here, this is probably not him, but this is a skeleton horse that spawned on a hillside uh, the first few months of the server and did not move. Uh, he did move now, uh, but we never created a name for him, so he's just kind of the unnameless horse. Um, so that's just something nice to share. Uh, we're gonna go to my base. Um, and go to Holden's base uh, and while in the process uh, I will show off Kevin's base um, even though he doesn't really have much of a base he just kinda dug a hole but um, my base here uh, was the first not I uh, not the first project my my shop was the first project but this is pretty much the big project the first big project I did it was a dirt circle in the shape of what you see now going all around then I placed cobblestone over it got rid of that circle and basically did another one which I was going to build a another whole dome um, after I built this one which actually took me six months um, you know it didn't actually like take six months to do all of this it just took me six months to complete it because I did take a lot of breaks but this was supposed to be another whole half sphere uh, while well, this one is about a quarter of the sphere and then it just kind of flattens out the bottom um, and also this this um, sphere is not technically finished either uh, you got this recent prank by Holden that I'm not taking down um, and we have recent um, fixes that I made to my new base like like this I mean the, when I built this like five or six months ago when I first was able to go in here I just put my bed down here and a few chests and crafting table and I literally didn't move it around until probably three weeks ago which or maybe even two for that matter um, which is which is not great um, but now I have the long 10,000 block tread to go over to Holden and Kevin's base okay before I go to Kevin and Holden's base um, I do want to show off the abandoned base of Ninja Master Nick. Uh, Nick was an early member. He did join late, but probably by two weeks. Um, so he he counts as an original member. Uh, he did build his base, and it was kind of impressive. It did not look like this. Uh, he helped us defeat the Ender Dragon. Um, he had he had pretty decent weaponry for the uh, for the time, uh, and his base. In his heyday, it looked really good. Uh, he did do his secret Santa, and it it does get destroyed um, by creepers and other people coming in. Uh, a late member, uh, for that fact, was Noah, and he joined about the same time as uh, Holden and Luke did. 
uh, but he did not count as a member at the time. I just kind of let him on and play with Nick because they were great friends and, you know, whatever. Uh, season 2, he is going to be an official member, and I am going to thoroughly introduce him as long as the other new members who are joining. Uh, I think you'll quite like them. Uh, they do have a sense of humor, and yeah. Um, let's go over to Kevin and Holden's base now. If I were to hand out any rewards to any of the Mochar members... I would give Holden the most thought out, most planned, and, mo and best built base of the entire server. Because, no, no, no. He didn't just build this house, which by itself looks pretty cool. But he has an entire complex of things that look good. No, things are a dead word. Um, but, just the amount of effort that went into it, and even when he just AFKs a lot, it's impressive, and I envy it. Um, he just has a small little house here, and then he has a mob farm with a bunch of stuff here. Um, I'm not going to tour everything, and he does have some new stuff uh, that I have not seen yet. Um, for starters, this is all Mesa right here, but he went out. He actually placed grass. He went out and get got wood to do it. He, like build a bunch of stuff and it, it's just impressive he was the first and only person to kill the wither uh we were gonna do that as a team but ran out of time guess what um over and it's not just what you see ow if my lights will work everything you just see is not only what he has this dome here goes underground into an, another complex a uh, spoiler i did build this um dome for him and as a gift uh as well as something else that i will show you but down here is more of a storage. Uh, this is the drops for his mom farm. Uh, and that's how he gets so much items. Uh, massive lag spikes because it's a big thing. And uh, I guess he has jump boost for his beacon here. Uh, lots of storage. I This is a pretty good storage system. He has this, which I'm pretty sure um, shouldn't he shouldn't leave out. Uh, this thing right here uh, has a zombie in it. But that does not mean anything. You see a giant thing of ice, but what this actually is is a sugarcane farm. And I built the sugarcane farm for him. And the reason because, um, you can go and watch the video, it's pretty obvious. I'll leave the link to the uh, playlist of Mochar of Season 1 in the description along with everything else. Um, but he did say in a video that he wanted a sugarcane farm and that he didn't know a great way to do it. And he, and... I did, because I'm a redstoner. Uh, and then he also said he wanted to get a better entrance for this. So in an episode, I did that for him. Uh, no, I did not build the house. He built that. Um, again, he, I, he's a better builder than I am. I, I never said I was a good builder, but I'm not terrible either. Uh, but this is impressive. Uh, if I, It's just really good. Um, and then you have this, which I'm going to assume is an iron farm which is something I was actually thinking about building when we first started out but I didn't get to because it took it took a lot and like I said Holden did put a lot of commitment yeah no this is an iron farm um I don't know there was like a lot of zombies here trying to eat him I don't know where they went yeah okay this is an iron farm so basically how an iron farm works is that there's a lot of doors so this area is technically a village, and when there's uh, enough amount of doors, then iron golems will spawn in a village. And the more there are, the more iron golems spawn. So they come down here, they die, they drop their stuff. That's why there's poppies. So that's basically that. Um, le last but not least for the bases is Kevin. Uh, Kevin is probably fourth place in the longest time spent on the server uh as in like being productive on their base and you know whatnot uh kevin did move a lot though he's a hermit even though this isn't hermit craft uh if i believe uh there yep right over here there is his own portal um he didn't want anyone to know where his base was he did show me because we're best friends uh and he trusts me so he did show me uh he did he did also had like a system here that really didn't work. So I put his secret Santa in here and stuff is good. 
he was trying to build a minecart system and he does have some storage uh, but other than that uh, okay that's pretty much that uh, you do have to break that and stuff like that but yeah that's the basic premise of the uh, mocher server let's get on with some other stuff and now we appear at one of the biggest projects I've ever done on the server actually that's a lie this is the biggest project I've ever done on the server it was never finished um, by the time I actually fit well I mean the building itself is finished but I had specific floor plans um, by the time I finished the building there was what two months left I figured it would have taken too long to build actually all the specific floors and it just wouldn't been worth it like I was supposed to have a casino and stuff like that and I didn't even have a penthouse from I, I set aside one for myself I didn't even work on it it's just a chest with some paint on it um paint in it sorry uh, but the, the um, history with this is that a long time ago two months into the server uh, we basically had a, a 50 by 50 quarry here and no rules tower is not 50 by 50 it's 30 by 30 um, but oh, if we go over here you can kind of see the uh, quarry thing here uh, it did not go as planned the goal was to um, just kind of set just kind of dig like the first few layers and then have like occasionally members who are bored or whatever just come over here and you know dig a little bit and get to the bottom and we would have gotten a lot of resources however that didn't really work so um, I decided to build a tower here uh, and the reason why I built the quarry, uh, the tower on the quarry, is that it does go a couple floors down. Uh, I'm not going to tour the entire building, um, but I will show you the two down floors. I will show you Holden's floor and probably most likely Luke's, but not actually. Okay, so I am going to show you down here. So this was supposed to be residential parking. This is like public and that was going to be for private for VIP members. Uh, it was going to be locked but it's just don't worry about it now. Down here is the subway station which is pretty much finished for the most part. I was supposed to dig a tunnel going to my naval base which I will show. And this was supposed to, supposed to be like that in the first place. But this leads to a railway station that I'll show you later. Uh, I built this train. I found it on a map that I liked and I just copied it almost block for block. I used different terracotta. Um... <clears throat> But that's pretty much the premises of what my idea, my plan. I just wanted to make a giant tower look good. Um, the render dis the max render distance is my in Minecraft is 32 chunks. Uh, there are mods to get it to be 64. Uh, it does take crazy CPU power though. Uh, and the reason why I mention that is because you are actually able to see this tower because it's so tall from almost 8,000 blocks away if you are on the same um, elevation and there are no mountains like that or this to block it which actually amazed me um, and I did use like a generator on a calculator website I forget because it was such a long time ago uh, this is Holden's floor um, he did build a little shop and it is useful I do buy a lot of gunpowder from him uh, he has other things like string and spider eye which a lot of people don't really buy I do buy some bones uh, you got arrows, which weren't much of a use for me, and no one wants flesh. All right, no one. Um, he did do a pretty good, good amount of uh, work onto it, and it is kind of impressive. Uh, this was his private floor, um, but he really, I, if you notice, uh, he didn't really do anything, which is okay, because I didn't either. Uh, Luke recently, no, not recently, um, three or four months ago, bought his own floor. Uh, but I only bought one, so it's a public floor. Anyone can go in here, and it, I guess it's supposed to be an office. Uh, he has a portal here, which goes into the nether tunnel system. And, yeah, the, it's just basically decoration for him. And then he has a bed he sleeps in, maybe a chest or two, like right here of his stuff. And everything's all good. That is Rules Tower. Let's head on with the next thing. And that would be... The mini games area, which was not a runaway success, still is not. Uh, the first thing that was ever built here was this quarry, which was supposed to be a maze of multiple floors, and it was supposed to be incredibly hard. 
and who if you did get it within like a certain time period you got a big reward like a few blocks of diamonds it was going to be built by me and jordan as you can guess jordan got computer problems he couldn't play for the server so it kind of just sat here uh, i was thinking of a uh covering it over but i didn't because it does mark a memorial uh, over here we have the first and only completed mini game in the mini game section which guess what was built by me um it is a shooting range and for those who are very old on my channel or watch my old videos you'll know that i built a shooting range on my old survival world which is not discontinued by the way hint hint um but there are a lot of differences uh for one thing the uh piston came from down instead of up and it shoots fireworks and it uses a much more uh better timing why do i keep holding tab uh better timing with hoppers and it's more accurate and it's supposed to be you know to be hard uh, and i also have like um flags like 10 blocks and 20 blocks and 30 blocks and i think 50 um no it, it's 40 uh, well, I was going to do 50, but this kind of came in the way. So 40, 40 is the max. Uh, you can go a bit further, and that's okay. Um, I did use it to like to help me practice shooting, but it didn't help me more than I already was. Uh, over here, I am unsure who built this. I'm pretty sure it was Nick. It could have been Alex. Uh, but I have no idea what it was going to be. And it did look cool, though, so who knows. Um, maybe he'll build it in season two. Uh, and then that leads us to here, which I will show off. This is the underground railroad, which I'm not finished, but I plan on finishing somewhat, um, before the end. And if I don't finish, then I am going to, unfortunately, just go in creative mode and finish it because this is supposed, I built this with the intention of when people downloaded it to have an easy way to get to place to place. Um, but this is new that I've been working on, and uh, so far, the completed parts, this will end up to an intersection where you can go to spawn, the spawn town one, which you saw, or my base. Uh, my There is a railroad system that leads to my base, and it, it, it it's just a normal, like, railway. It wasn't anything too special. Uh, we did run into problems like this that I really didn't solve in the best way possible and some minor redstone along the way but overall i was proud of it at the time and i still sort of am it, like i said it wasn't the best thing i ever built um and it sure wasn't like you have to like hold down w when you push that it wasn't the best thing um but people got a hang of it and use it until they got elytra and had no need for it but that's completely fine um this area is the uh, spawn town one. This is the main area. That goes down to a whole loop, which I've not finished, and to the end where we, I just showed you. Uh, this goes to Rules Tower, uh, and, you know, there's kind of little stairs here. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too happy with the design. I didn't put a lot of effort into it, but it was just basic, and I was inspired by, like, other uh, metro stations that I've been to wow um i actually almost forgot about luke's base i'm um, sorry um well luke's hit base is fairly new uh it's been it looks pretty cool um it's just a normal house you know he has a map of spawn town here uh he has his own storage and you know basic stuff has an enchanting room has a secret basement he has you know stairs uh, he has a nether portal, which he has actually his own separate system that can lead to the spawn town portal and the uh, rules tower portal. Uh, he, is, he has his own little stables in here of his own pets. Uh, we have a giraffe, the, the llama. Uh, we have Jim the pig. Uh, we have whatever this was supposed to be. I'm going to guess a horse. And oh yeah, we have Bob, who is a skeleton horse. Uh, he's, an he's another skeleton horse that spawned around these areas and while we're out here i almost forgot as well to show you the naval base which 
despite its name, does have a fully, well, function, uh, runway. But it didn't work because stupid server memory. Anyway, this was built by me. Uh, I obviously ran out of material, and you might have saw, saw some, uh, dirt patches over there. Uh, and right here, too. So, that's dirt that hasn't grown yet. Uh, this was literally built for aesthetics. There's a little hangar. Uh, you know, we have a little, like, dock here with, like, to come in here, which I was inspired by Battle Islands. We have a, uh, what do you call them? Lighthouse. Uh, we have an underwater dome. Uh, we have a command center here, which, um, like a lot of the, uh, projects, never got finished. Uh, we have this little, uh, ladder there that leads to that portal there, and if I saw correctly, I think in the, uh, lighthouse there were missing blocks? No, I saw incorrectly. Um, but... What's cool about the naval base, and we, I, we don't use it a lot uh, for various reasons, you can go all the way over there and around that mountain that leads to my base, or you can go over there to a river system that leads over there uh, to also around the same area over there. Uh, this is the place I was supposed to be connected with the uh, subway station in Rules Tower. Um, yep, so I, I forgot to show you that. Uh, I needed to show you that, and we have some duels going on with a dog and a skeleton. I think that's going to do it for this episode guys uh if you want i i know i'm like skipping a lot and that's for a good reason uh, because i'm not going through like the deep detailed history of everything uh we still have some shops and we have this which um is built fairly recently and not too important so anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you for tuning in this entire season uh, remember, I'm not the only member, and some members do have YouTube channels, so please go check them out. Links are obviously going to be in the description. Um, and it is going to be kind of sad to leave this world behind. It's our first, wor it's our first world server. It's like it. It's not going to be completely deleted though. There is going to be a download, and you can download this world and play on it. We are going to do that with every season. But thank you guys so much for watching, if I can speak English, and I'll see you in the next video.